Hey guys, Ty Bryson here, and as you guys know, officially, 21 days are left in 2020. And by the way, I've never been more excited for a year to end in my entire life. It feels like this year is a movie that actually happened based on real life, and even like in 10 years, when I break it down to my kids, they're not going to believe it. But yeah, I have it recorded. It really happened. All this stuff is 100% real. But guys, at the end of every single year, I basically sit down and write down exactly what my goals are for the next year. So basically, 2021, what I want to do, how much money I'm going to make, and what my plans actually are. Big plans, small plans, daily plans, all those plans right there. But for today, I'm going to tell you exactly how I plan to make around $306,000 in the year 2021. And by the way, it's not a video about me saying, hey guys, look at me, I make a lot of money, isn't this cool? The answer is no. It's more about a video because basically, I love watching videos about how much money people make and basically seeing exactly how they do it. That way I can copy it and then go ahead and make money for myself also. When I was 19 years old, I scrubbed through around 200 books to find it exactly how to make extra money and to change my mindset. And that's why I like talking about money, sharing my details and being a hundred percent transparent. And the reality is not to show off because if I wanted to show off guys, okay, I will tell you that basically this t-shirt costs around three dollars and i basically cut my own hair and on top of that i don't have a car i have a bike and those are all ways i definitely save a ton of money and that stuff of stuff i like showing off at okay only that type of stuff okay and by the way my phone was also free and it's around three years old and i'm not getting the iphone 12. that's the stuff I show off at okay now guys if you guys are new here I post videos every single day so make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified on top of that also destroy the like button now the very first thing is this guys okay how am I gonna make three hundred and sixty thousand dollars well the first thing is guys just by me going ahead and moving to Florida next year and by the way I'm stuck between Fort Myers and Miami if you have any ideas comment down below I'm looking at all ideas basically but just by moving from New York to Florida, I'm going to save around twenty-four thousand three hundred and seventy-six dollars and forty-six cents just on taxes. Because basically, New York charges a bunch of taxes: state taxes, local taxes, taxes that I do not want to worry about. So basically, with that twenty-four thousand dollars in savings, I can basically buy a four hundred thousand dollar property in Florida, rent it out and make some extra income and still have enough money to cover the mortgage from all of those savings. And by the way, guys, I'm not sure if I'm going to move to Florida either in June of 2020 or basically in early 2020. I know my girlfriend's going to stay here and my mom might come with me, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But it is kind of weird having to go to another state and stay there. You don't know anyone. But I am looking forward to the weather in Florida, and especially because I don't like the cold and the snow, especially because I ride a bike, and during winter, it's the worst idea to ride a bike, especially because the cold is hitting you right in the face, and because you might fall down, because basically the streets turn into ice, okay? So I am looking forward to that. Now, the second way I'm gonna make 360K, and by the way, I'm not including the tax savings at all, but I do wanna mention that, but here is actually YouTube. Now, as you guys know I have a main channel this right here is my main channel well basically I post videos every single day I have been for almost two years now and I'm posting videos since I was around 11 years old okay my first video I posted was with Sony Vegas when I was around 11 years old that's when I learned how to edit and post videos on YouTube by the way Tommy what was your first video on it was on Naruto and Sasuke and they were fighting and all that fancy stuff back then we called it AMVs okay but the answer is guys okay on YouTube I make between 25 to forty thousand dollars every single month because basically we have very high CPNs as financial channels however because of 2021 and changes coming to the platform for example YouTube is going to put ads on channels that are not monetized and they are going to keep all the money according to sources out there. That is what's going to happen in 2020. Now, according to the law of economics, right, whenever you increase supply, usually the price of items actually fall. So the prices of CPMs, basically the cost per mile or the cost for ads and stuff like that in 2021 might actually fall. But we don't know the effects just yet, so I can't say anything. It might happen, might not happen. We're still waiting for it. But the answer is I make around 25 k to around $40,000 on YouTube. And by the way, guys, I went around nine years 
posting content on YouTube without making a single dollar, and I'm pretty happy about it, okay? I'm proud of all those lessons that I actually learned, but I could have learned it faster if I took a course or read a book on YouTube, okay? Now, on top of that, guys, YouTube money is also gonna change because basically, they're going to be treated as royalties now, not as earned income by business operations. So in reality, things are gonna change from a tax standpoint, and I'm already talking to my accountant to see exactly how we're actually going to do this, okay? Because by the way, I like strategizing and seeing exactly how does New York treat it, how does Florida treat it, what can we expect, how does this benefit us, how does it not benefit us. So if you're a YouTuber making a decent amount of money, over $1,000 every single month, the answer is you want to know exactly how this is right here is actually going to affect you. Now, the third way I'm going to make some money is basically by my second channel. Now, you guys might not know this, but I have a second channel called The Tommy Bryson Show, where basically I answer questions, receive calls, react to videos, and do more fun, entertaining stuff when it comes to finance and less serious content, okay? But I love that channel, but I stopped posting, although I should be posting every single day over there. However, I am going to hire an editor because basically, editing three to four videos every single day is not something I actually want to do. I like making content, but just like editing like four or three videos every single day is not something I actually want to do. So I might hire an editor as long as it's not way too expensive. And by the way, in the first 11 years of making YouTube videos, it's the first time I'm ever going to hire an editor. Although I've been an editor for YouTubers in the past. That's pretty cool, right? But yeah, that's how I also learned all the secrets about how YouTube actually works by working for them and asking them all the questions, okay? So consider that also if you wanna make money from YouTube. But again, guys, okay, I only expect to make around $1,600 in the first year of this channel. So that's around 365 videos, earning me around $4.50 a day. And you might say, Tommy, that's dumb, don't do it, it's a waste of time. The answer is no. I didn't make a dollar from YouTube for the first nine years. It takes time for things to catch on. So that's why I'm not really worried about the money portion when it comes to that channel, because although it might not make a lot of money, it is going to help people bring value to them and on top of that, entertain them and also teach them more about money. So as long as I'm doing that, I know in the end, things are going to actually pay off. Now, number four guys is basically the stock market. Now, as you guys know, I am an investor. I put money in the stock market, into index funds, and on top of that, into ETFs, and also into some bonds. That is basically what I do currently. And I also have some individual stocks, but not that many, really. And guys, in 2021, I plan to have my portfolio at around $420,000. Currently, in 2020, it's at around $186,000. And by the way, guys, tell me, how are you gonna do that? The answer is, guys, I basically grab all the money I make and I put it into the stock market, okay? That is basically what I do by doing dollar cost average. That's how I basically invest. Now, I have full videos on that, so I'll probably link that down below that way you guys know exactly how I invest. But the answer is, I make around 8% on average every single year for my investments. By the way, this year, I made 20% plus, but the answer is, that's not really an average year because guess what? 2020 was crazy, so that's why that happened. So I'm not really gonna count that. But the answer is, I make an average of around 8% a year plus 2% from dividends, it's around 10%. So basically, if I have a portfolio size of around $420,000, I'm looking to make around $42,000 from unrealized gains, not including dividends, okay? That's the cool thing about investing in the stock market. So from the stock market, I'm expected to make somewhere around $42,000. And by the way, that money, I'm not gonna take it out. It's going to be in there reinvesting, reinvesting, and reinvesting. On top of that, guys, I also have money that I make from Amazon. Now, on Amazon, I could basically grab any product I use and sell it and say, hey guys, I use this product, go ahead and use my link. And I could do that over and over and over again. But in reality, the only product I advertise a ton from Amazon is basically Audible. Because basically with Audible, I paid around $15 a month, okay, when I was in college. And in reality, the ROI, return on investment, I had on Audible is insane because I read books every single month, every single week, and in reality, that helped me create a ton of money. So that's why I always tell people, hey, go read. If you don't like reading physical books, try going ahead and listening to them while you're walking to work, going to work, or for example, in the gym working out, okay? That way, you learn a lot more. And by the way, I'm super happy because basically this year in 2020, over 910 people actually joined Audible and started reading. And by the way, Audible makes me an average of around $460 
every so months. And in reality, that's around an income of around $5,520. And in reality, if you ask me, this is a lot of money because basically I made this money just by helping people start reading. And to me, that's awesome, okay? Now, for 2021, I expect it to be around the same or maybe a little bit more or maybe a little bit less, but it probably won't change because basically, I'm not gonna be advertising a bunch of Amazon products because basically, that is not what my channel is about. I advertise books. And by the way, guys, I upload a video every single week on book reviews, but in reality, this week, I haven't uploaded one because basically, I'm reading a book called The Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith, and that book is around 36 hours long, and it's gonna take me between three weeks to four weeks to actually finish. If you're wondering, Tommy, Where's the book review? The answer is I'm still reading, bro. So just keep that in mind. I haven't forgotten. I'm just still reading this book right here. Now, number six, guys, is actually courses. Now, courses is something I actually want to do. And before you say, Tommy, you're selling out. Don't make courses. Courses suck. The answer is they don't suck that much. It's because basically, you know, I have over 700 videos, okay? By the end of 2021, I have over a thousand videos and so on, if God allows it. But the answer is that, you know, looking through all those videos to get what you want is going to be difficult. So I want to create a course to have everything you actually need to do certain things. And that's what I want to build. And I want to do that by the end of the year. So I have 21 days to actually go ahead and build my course. And by the way, if I can make around 1K a month from that course, that's awesome. That way, I'll keep building more and more courses as I keep acquiring more and more skills. But I do want to make you guys a promise, a partnership, okay? So grab your hand and shake mine. Well, look, I'll shake it for me, okay? There you go. But the answer is, guys, all the content in my courses is also going to be available for free on my channel. It's just going to be more convenient to digest it in an entire course with all the information right then and there than looking through over a thousand videos on my channel. That is the only difference. I would never make content, exclusive content for courses. No, everything is available on my channel also. Now, if that makes me 1K every single month, that's around 12K every single year. Now, guys, on top of that, I also plan to invest into real estate, but not for personal use. I'm too young to go ahead and buy a house. I don't have a wife yet. I do have a girlfriend, though, five years and going, but I don't have any kids yet. Not yet. Like Maybe like around 27 or like 28, something like that. But the answer is, I'm not going to buy a personal property just yet. If I do buy real estate, it's going to be to make money or, for example, save money also and taxes. And by the way, it's usually going to be both. So when I go to Florida, I might rent for the first year. If I like where I live, I might go ahead and buy a duplex, okay? That way, I save money while I'm actually living there. And I also, I'm making some extra money because the tenant is also helping me pay the mortgage. And on top of that, I might be cash flowing some money if things plan out the way I actually want it to plan out, okay? Now, that is real estate. So I can't predict exactly what's going to happen with it. But again, if I do invest into real estate for 2021, it's going to be to make money and to save money on taxes. Right now, currently, me buying a personal property is going to be a liability, okay? I'm just being honest here. And lastly, guys, is actually my side hustle with accounting. Now, as you guys know, in January or so, I had around 33 plus clients and I was making between 6K to 8K. Basically, I go to small businesses and help them with everything going on, like bookkeeping, like, hey, do you need money? I'll help you apply for this and that. On top of that, hey, here's an idea to actually increase the amount of money you actually earn. Now, that makes me, well, maybe around 6K to 8K earlier this year. But now, it's only making me around $1,640. You might say, Tommy, that's terrible. No, in reality, it's actually on purpose. Basically, it's a business that I'm starting to close down because the only reason I started it was to go out there and make money by helping people while I was trying to make YouTube work for those like four to five years while I was actually in college and didn't actually want to do accounting if I'm being 100% honest. And now, and now that I'm coming to the end of this chapter, I'm going to go ahead and move to Florida. I have to go ahead and close that business out. So in the year of 2021, most likely, I'm not going to be making any money whatsoever from this business. Although in the beginning of the year, I was making around 6K to 8K net profit every single month. And that's awesome. But it's time to let that business go. And guys, overall, if we did all the counting and reality with YouTube, tax savings I didn't include, and also projections I did not include, just the income I actually make, well, I'm expected to make around $306,000 and $520 for the year of 2021. It might be more, it might be less, but my values in no way 
are gonna change. I'm still gonna be wearing $3 t-shirts. I'm still gonna go ahead and be making videos every single day on YouTube. And on top of that, I'm still gonna be riding my bike. And if I do buy a car, it's going to be a Corolla with CarPlay. That's all I care about. If my car has CarPlay and it's a Toyota Corolla for like around 8K to 10K, I'm, I'm fine with that, okay? I'm happy with that. But guys, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And as always, comment down below and let me know. Also, what are your plans for 2020? Are you gonna start a business, switch careers, or basically go ahead, get a side hustle, sell something? Comment down below, let me know. And as always, guys, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. As always, like this video if you liked it. On top of that, also, subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified. And if you guys wanna text me or talk to me one on one, join my Patreon, link down below, or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And by the way, guys, if you guys wanna watch a full video on basically how to actually start investing for beginners, here's that video right here, and click my face right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.